World-renowned artist Wyland is also known for helping the community. Wyland is now kicking off a nationwide challenge to promote arts in schools. He's also promoting conservation and making it fun for kids at the same time. Fantastic. It's called the Water is Life Challenge, and the theme is Our Ocean. Wyland joins me here to talk about this and all things Wyland, but you are not only a friend to KCAL and KCBS, a, a good friend of mine as well. We've done some great stuff, and, and you continue to do it. Well, you know, the things that I'm really concerned about is art, education in our schools, and mm -hmm. you're seeing it disappear, you know, and uh, I want to put more of that back in our school because art was so, you know, critical to, you know, what I am today. So we have this National Art Challenge reaching out to all the kids, uh, K through 12, mm -hmm. over 48 million kids in America. So we're challenging them to use art and science uh, to bring the conservation message. So this is kind of a painting I did, yeah. Josh. And, uh, That's this, a painting. Yeah, and this poster is available to all the schools and it kind of... Uh, on the back, it actually teaches kids how to do murals and how to do, you know, ocean art and uh, art with a conservation message. So it's really cool, and that's where I really want to put my time and energy and try to inspire kids to use art and science to, to really change the world. What's interesting is you're talking about two things. One thing that is a a bit of a soft skill, art, and science, which is you know more one of the hardcore su subjects. Right. Uh, and you're marrying those two things. Are you together. saying art's easy? <laughs> I'm not saying art's easy. Not even by by a long shot. No, Josh. By the way. You know, <laughs> so you got STEM, right? Which yeah. is uh, science, uh, technology. You got engineering, math. We want to go for STEAM, which adds art to that. That's great. Yeah, STEAM. So it's. Uh, Is it, tell me, tell me how that how they marry. How, how do I find the connection? Well, these two? literally nowhere do you see, uh, you know, any, anything that you really use in life. Take. Um, Take uh, Apple, mm -hmm. you know that that's all those things. It's it's science, it's yeah, technology, right. it's math, but it's art. It's design. Absolutely. Oh yeah, Steve Jobs. Yeah, he, he's probably the the icon for why you should have art education in schools. And uh, we want to uh, bring this national challenge uh, every year. It starts uh, September 25th. Mm -hmm. uh, goes for two months. It's every school in the nation. I hope you guys will go to Wyland.com and register your school. We give away, you know, art supplies. We've given art supplies to over 400 cities in the last couple of years. But we want this to be the preeminent, you know, art uh, contest in the nation. And then we highlight all 13 national win winners, uh, K to 12, mm -hmm. and the murals as well from kindergarten, middle school, high school. We'll showcase them with our partners at the uh, Long Beach Aquarium, mm -hmm. Aquarium of the Pacific, you know. And uh, it, it's oh, all what's good. what's up there at the Aquarium of the Pacific? There's a, there's a. Well, um, we did a launch. Yeah. And I think you guys have some video, but we did a launch over there with the aquarium folks and Dr. Sylvia Earle, the preeminent uh, marine scientist on Earth, the first CNN hero for the planet. She came, she actually came and That's she awesome. presented the science and I did the art. And what we hope to do is, is bridge those two worlds and engage kids creatively to use their art to bring the conservation message to today. That's fantastic. It's awesome. and, and what you know what I love about your work is that you are so passionate about it. This isn't just sort of a side project. Well, this is all married to everything you do. It, it's who I am. You know, when I was a kid, I had a first grade teacher saw me kind of screwing off in the back of the class drawing, <laughs> and I thought I was in trouble, Josh, uh -huh. and she said, uh, I'm an artist too, and after class we drew together for an hour and she said, "Wyland, you could be a great artist." So I, it changed my life. I just decided I would be an artist. So now when I see kids, whenever I have the opportunity, I try to inspire them. And we also have this thing in Laguna Beach called Thursday Night Art Night, uh -huh. every first Thursday. And we feature um, a local artist or an up and coming artist from Southern California to be a featured artist, try to put light on them. And I try to show them how to be a successful artist because you don't want a starving, bohemian, angry uh -huh. artist. You want to be happy <laughs> you like You want to be the, the cool dude like This you. is better to be so, cool. And, and you're doing a couple appearances as well. Yeah. September 27th, you're going to do a live demo. Can you do, you're going to yeah, do, Yeah, I was going to do a sketch. Right Actually, I'm going to be at uh, Wyland Galleries. It's the world premiere of our Wyland Galleries at Sweet. Sweet, you know, right. Sweet, yeah, yeah. Right there. So it's upstairs. Everybody's invited Saturday night. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Watch how I paint. Then you don't have to buy one. It's cheaper. <laughs> oh, this is terrible marketing. All right, well, I'm going to draw you Will a you? sea turtle. Okay, let's see. So uh, kids, if you're watching, this is how you would draw a uh, turtle. First of all, keep it simple. Uh -huh. If we were in the Museum of Modern Art, I'd be finished right there. <laughs> but since we are here, it up a little bit and put we're it here in LA at CVS <laughs> with you, Josh. So, okay, so here we go. We're going to draw one of my favorite animals, a sea turtle. So here we go. I love this. This is fantastic. Isn't this cool? Okay, yeah. so here's the flippers. 
So, you know, I'm a diver, so I spend a lot of time looking at these animals. Uh -huh. And then when it comes time to uh, draw or paint them, I just imagine them swimming across the paper. So you see, you're, this is, you're, you, when you're drawing this, you're envisioning back to... I'm seeing this animal swim right in front of me, and then I'm painting some of the details. Now, scientists say that these markings that the turtles have on the top of their head and on their neck, each one is like a fingerprint, Josh, so uh, it makes each t uh, turtle uh, unique like, like people. But anyway, there's a, a little sea turtle. You can add a little more detail. It's not rocket science. It's actually harder. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So there you go. Well, you are fantastic. I love every time you come over here and, uh, and show us something. And don't forget to sign it. Josh, this one's for you. Oh, you're the, you're the best. I love it. And put a C on there. <laughs> for more information about uh, why great work that you guys do, go to kcal9.com and click on Scene on TV. So